The guy did what he wanted to do, man. Uh, he is what he did. A dirty shot. See what they make. A dirty player. Simple. I don't know what to say on that. I'm, I'm laying there. He snuck me. My back turned. Uh, he could have broke my neck. I mean, I got a son to raise. I mean, you know, all that. You know, people don't think about that when they, you know, just react, you know. But uh, that's here or there, but it is what it is. Doesn't sound like Tredavious White, Brian McFadden, is exactly, well, accepting the apology from Gronk. Agreed. If I'm in his shoes, I can't get mad at him. Exactly. When you hear those comments, <clears throat> what's the right thing to do now? By the league? By Gronk? Because he never even called the man. He said, look, I got a kid to raise, and you really could have done some serious jeopardy here. Well, right now, based on what has happened, because Gronk apologized right after the football game, but clearly that apology means nothing to Tredavious White. and I. Can, I, I understand why he feels how he feels. And as far as with the league, what can you do now? Because you gave him a one-game suspension. That's it. So you can't go back and suspend him again, again for, for a punishment that has already been set, sealed, and delivered. So you, now you have to move on. I don't believe that Gronkowski is a dirty player because mm. we haven't seen this. But it was a dirty play. Yes. Yes, it was a dirty play. It was unprofessional. It mm. was... Uh, it, it, was, it was not within the safety rules no. and regulations. It wasn't in a play. So for him to allow his emotions to get the best of him clearly was unprofessional, and he should be suspended more than one game, and we've had that conversation before, but clearly it is what it is. Because Mike Mitchell, the Steelers, and how outspoken he was yesterday, he said part of the problem is Roger Goodell, that we have this judge and jury of one man, and that they're not litigating these things evenly. Because, as you mentioned, Tredavious White gets, could have been seriously injured. Gronk gets one game. Yep. Juju Smith-Schuster, in a crackback block, in the course of a play, gets the same punishment. Yeah. I think that's where the people like Mike Mitchell think that this is an injustice and that it it's is. not fair. Because you can't receive the same punishment for different crimes, in my opinion. And we all will agree to one thing. What Rob, Rob Gronkowski did clearly was more severe, was unprofessional than what Juju did. Now, Juju, I'm not talking about the taunting. Correct. We're talking about the actual I'm talking hits. about the contact. Yes. Iloka. I'm talking about the contact. That was in a play. Football Juju play. was trying to provide a block that will allow Le'Veon Bell to get more positive yards. Iloka was trying to make Dislodge contact the football. to knock the football out of Antonio Brown's hands mm -hmm. and unlikely... Unfortunately, he hit him hot. Gronkowski, the play was dead. The whistle blown. He's on the ground. You literally jumped on top of him with intent to inflict some type of pain. 